Hi guys and welcome back to the next adventure. Today we're presenting you with a list of the cheapest, well scratch that, let's just say the most affordable all-inclusive hotels in Jamaica. As one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Caribbean, Jamaica offers a lot of options for travelers and can com accommodate any budget. As stated in my video about the most popular hotels in Jamaica, the city of Montego Bay was listed in 2022 as the number one recovery tourist destination in the world. First and foremost, let's just get some facts out of the way. Some of these pictures are courtesy of Expedia and the amenities are courtesy of the hotel's website. Some of them are from my personal visits to some of these hotels and videos as well. You should know that just like the prices of airline tickets, hotel prices fluctuate. This means that your $200 a night stay today could have been $150 last week or even $300 next week. Of the 10, only one is a 5 star rated resort, one is a 4 star rated resort and the others all fall between 3 and 3.5 stars. I hope this list can help you plan that awesome and affordable, not cheap, affordable getaway to the beautiful island of Jamaica. So without further delay, let's just jump right in. Oh, 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 before we do this, please remember to drop us a like if you want to see more content just like this. Let me know in the comments, drop us a like, subscribe if you like, and I'll do a lot more videos like this. This is the way we get motivated to drop these content. So thank you much. Let's get it. Number one. Royal de Cameron Club Caribbean. This hotel ranges from $130 to $180 per night. That is the cost that I generated at its lowest point. This hotel is located in Runaway Bay and is an all-inclusive family-friendly hotel and it's located on a private beach as all of the hotels listed on here anyway. It is about a 73-minute drive from the Donald Sanser International Airport in Montego Bay. Some of the amenities include internet in public areas, free buffet breakfast all day, two beach bars, two poolside bars, three restaurants, four bars in total with lounges, a snack bar, there are two outdoor pools, a children's pool and a spa, two outdoor tennis courts, volleyball, children's pool as stated earlier, fitness classes, a gym, bicycle rentals, and lots and lots of water sports activities. Number two, Sea Garden Beach Resort. This hotel at its lowest point I have seen ranges from $140 to $200 per night. It's located in Montego Bay and is a family friendly, all inclusive hotel. It is very close to the airport so it's just a three minute drive. Also, it's located just six minutes away from the very popular Doctor's Cave Beach. Internet is available in all rooms and there's also internet in public spaces. There is a 24-hour round-trip airport shuttle, of course, that comes with a surcharge. Not every hotel offers this for free, and at this price, hey, you gotta pay something. There's free buffet breakfast all day, two restaurants, four bars, a beach bar, and a poolside bar. There's lots of water sport activities. There's a children's pool, a gym, and a nightclub. There's also babysitting if you're bringing that little toddler along with you, for a surcharge, of course. Number three, again, it's a Royal De Cameron property. This one is called the Royal De Cameron Montego Beach. At its lowest point, I've seen this hotel go from $160 to $200 per night. It's also located on a private beach and it's up, situated on the popular hip strip in Montego Bay. This is very close to the airport and it just takes about three minutes drive to get there. Again, located close to the Doctor's Cave Beach, which is just seven minutes by foot away. Free Wi-Fi in all rooms and free Wi-Fi in the public areas. Free buffet breakfast, two bars and lounges, two restaurants, a poolside bar, and my favorite, a swim-up bar. There's two outdoor pools, basketball, beach volleyball, billiards, pool table, fitness classes, gym, lots and lots of water sports, you name it, scuba diving, snorkeling, windsurfing, you get it all here. Four, 
a Royal de Cameron Cornwall Beach. This is a four star property. I've seen this property go from $160 to $270 per night. Sister property to the other Royal Caribbean property I just spoke about and you could just literally walk over. It's again located on a private beach and it's again on the popular hip strip which is a popular neighborhood in Montego Bay with great proximity to the airport. Again three minutes drive away and this one is a minute walk to the Doctors Gate Beach. So what did that tell you? It's right next door pretty much. There's free Wi-Fi in all rooms and Wi-Fi in the public spaces. Free buffet breakfast, two bars, two restaurants, a coffee shop, a poolside bar, and lots and lots of water sports activities. Number five, the Samsara Resort, and this is a three-star rated resort. At its lowest point, I've seen this hotel go from $180 to about $240 per night. It is located in the west end of Negril. That means a little bit more laid back and a much further drive from the International Airport in Montego Bay. Going to take you about 81 minutes to get there. This property, however, was renovated in 2020, so that's good news for anybody thinking of staying at this property. There's free Wi-Fi in all rooms and Wi-Fi in public spaces. There is a 24-hour round-trip airport shuttle for a surcharge. And there is a free area shuttle. So you want to get around the grill, they have a free shuttle to take you around. Daily buffet breakfast is available, two restaurants, a bar, a lounge, a poolside bar, snack bar, and lots of water sports activity. Hey, there's even a children's pool and a library and a video arcade room for the little ones. Full service spa is also there. Number six, Merrill's Beach Resort 2. At its lowest point, I've seen this hotel go for $150 to $270 per night range. Located again in the grill, it is on a private beach and those wishing to experience the area's natural beauty can explore the world famous Seven Mile Beach. This hotel is pretty much right on the Seven Mile Beach and it's located just down the road from the Cool Runnings Water Park and the Hope Botanical Garden and Zoo. However, to get to this hotel, it's going to take you about 97 minutes. It's, yeah, it's not that close to the airport, but hey, once you get there, you'll see that it's worth it. There's free Wi-Fi available in the public areas and Wi-Fi in all rooms. There's a bar, a lounge, a restaurant, and on site, you can play billiards, pools. There's free cribs and lots of things that keep you entertained. Number seven. Holiday in Resort Montego Bay. This is a three-star family rated resort. This is one of the largest properties on this list of top 10. It is actually number three with regards to its size. It is located about five miles from the International Airport. It's gonna take you about eight to 10 minutes to get there. At its lowest point, this hotel ranges from about $170 to $270 per night. This hotel you should be sure to enjoy six on-site restaurants which feature seafood and a poolside location. Enjoy their 24-hour gym and all activities include things such as basketball, snorkeling, sailing and lots of water sport activities. There's free, wi free Wi-Fi in all rooms and there's also a beach bar and hey this one even has a grocery slash convenience store. You enjoy large outdoor pools, a children's pool, and my favorite again, a swimmer bar. There's four tennis courts, and guests usually give this hotel great reviews for its very family-friendly amenities. Number eight. The Deja Resort. This is a 3.5 star rated resort. At its lowest point, I've seen this hotel go for $150 per night. This is located on the beach on the popular hip strip in Montego Bay. So as you see in the other hotels that I mentioned earlier, 
being on this hip strip means you're very close to the airport. It's also located pretty much next door to the Doctor's Cave Beach, which takes you just a minute by foot to get there. Deja Resort provides free breakfast buffet, a round trip airport shuttle, and a poolside bar. It's with amenities like this, including their beautiful white sand beach that makes you want to stay at this hotel. Like I said, it's right next door to Doctor's Gate Beach. And if you know this very popular beach in Montego Bay with the very popular, beautiful, powdery white sand, you know how beautiful their beach is going to be as well. Number nine. Bahia Principe Grand Jamaica. This is a four star rated resort. Hands down the most popular and demanded resort in Jamaica. No other hotel comes close to the amount of people that book and stay at this hotel on a yearly basis. It's called Bahia Principe Grand. There's a reason this hotel is called Grand. It is very grand. It is humongous. We stayed at this hotel and I could tell you, it can be quite exhausting just walking this property. Nevertheless, the grounds are beautiful. Basic amenities include free Wi-Fi in all rooms, five restaurants, six bars, one poolside bar, one beach bar, and one swim-up bar. There's also a nightclub and great nightlife, three pools, fitness center, spa, and again, this one boasts one of the largest pools at a resort in the Caribbean. The pictures speak for themselves. It just wraps around the rear of the hotel towards the side and it is awesome. Great if you want to space out and have some sort of privacy to yourself or to yourself and your family. There's also a children's pool, a water park, and a children's club. Also, there's a playground. Food is available 24 hours a day and there's 24 hour room service. This hotel, based on the numbers that I generated, it states about $140 per night or less. I have seen this hotel go as low as $120. If you want to check it out, please, we have a link in the description to show you our stay at this hotel and I have a room tour, a hotel tour, and a negative and positive review of this hotel. So check the description of this video and you could see how we enjoyed that property. Number 10, Bahia Principe Luxury Runaway Bay. This one is the only adults only five star rated resort on this list. During certain travel periods, you could get this hotel down to about $170 to $180 per night. So check that time of year and see what works for you and you can get a great deal on an awesome luxury hotel. It's located right next door to the Bahia Principe Grand so you can just walk right over if whatever amenity is not being provided to adults only is over by the family friendly resort. You can just step right over, it takes a few minutes and everything is available to you just the same. Through the sun rays and on and on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways.